Okay, we got the Chevelle in here in the booth. Got the firewall all finished in. Uh, finished all the filler work all the way around all the edges. Also wiped this cow panel right here so it'll be right nice and straight. Uh, everything in here has all been sanded, prepped. I've not seam sealed it yet, but I broke my tape line up right here. We're gonna be doing everything up here in black. So I'm gonna cut my edge right here to fade into the green on the bottom. Uh, so everything in here will be black. We're gonna black everything up here in the front and I'm gonna do the dash as well. Uh, but right now everything's gonna be going into primer. So this is what we're doing right now. Uh, gonna shoot this thing in some primer and then we're gonna block that primer down and then we'll be shooting this in black and get the uh, dash there in black. Here it is, I've got it all in uh, primer. This is the second coat, there's still a lot left to do. I've got, of course, put the seam sealer up in there. Got it. Pretty good amount of coats on there, just the two, pretty thick, but once this all dries out and cures, I gotta add some more, probably about two more coats to it. Uh, then I'll block sand it real good right here. The owner's coming over in the next few minutes and she'll let me know if she wants to do black on this or do the dash and the firewall and all this cow color match. So I'll ask her that here in the next few minutes when she comes over and then as soon as that starts to dry in, block that out and get some color on it. Okay, this is the next day we're in here. I've already block sanded all the primer. I've also seam sealed all the factory locations that has to have seam sealer in it all the way around everywhere where it needed it so now that we've got the seam sealer on there i'm going to spray the sealer along the top of the dash panel along the cowl and along this entire firewall down to my tape line i've made on the bottom and we're going to do all this right here and the top and the top of the dash all that's going to be in a dark gunmetal gray color so we're going to shoot some sealer shoot the base in the clear and we'll see how it turns out now we're mixing up the color this will be the color that i'll be putting on the firewall and the cow panel i've mixed some tuxedo black some dark gunmetal metallic and some ice silver together to make this color so we're about to start shooting down the firewall. And there is our base coat. So it's all in base. You can't, can't really see much about it right now, but you will be whenever I put some clear on it. I have shot the top of the dash the same color. I'm gonna make some custom pieces for this. But now we're gonna be uh, shooting some clear on there and we'll see how it looks. finished product I still have to water sand and buff everything like the top of the dash and some parts of the firewall now right here this right here is where the fender will go I'll have to water sand buff the firewall right here to make it real nice and slick the bottom of the car is all green from this point right here to here where the firewall is so all that's already done in green. I've shot the dash the same color. So that's it for this part of the 69 Chevelle. It'll be slick as glass whenever we water sand and buff it. I got it about uh, 80 degrees in here in the booth, so it's pretty hot right now. But that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, guys. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to water sand and buff this firewall. And we're going to get this body right here down on the frame so we can address the back of the car here. Whoever welded the car up, I put these rear pieces on here to try to get the trunk lid lined up so I can figure out where everything is. As you can tell, this right here is supposed to be flush with this right here. And as you can see, it's really out of whack. So that right there is not welded in right. Go to this side, same thing. It's too far forward. The deck lid is rubbing right here and 
as you can tell, it needs to go forward, but the deck lid can't go forward anymore. It actually needs to come out. So this quarter panel right here is welded crooked, and so is this one. So this whole thing needs to be shifted over just a little bit for this trunk lid to fit correctly. With this right here, you would think, okay, I need to pull this right here that way. Well, if I push it that way, this right here will come out further. And it's, it's as if this part of the car is welded that way, and that one's this way. So it's as if it's all completely twisted. So I'm going to have to cut the quarters loose on the back of the car and fix this whole issue back here. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to bolt the body down onto the frame first to get the, the body straight. Then I'll cut the quarter panels loose and address this. But that's going to be all in this portion of the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next episode of the 69 Chevelle build.